What in the world is a negative quilt block? Well, a negative quilt block is when you take a traditional quilt block, add a dividing line in the middle, and then make the two sides negative images of each other. Today, I'm going to show you how to make a negative block with this traditional churn dash. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojaki, and embroidery. So a negative quilt block is a fun variation that you can use on traditional quilt blocks. So I have this nine inch churn dash block that I've divided in the middle, but there are a lot of different variations that you can use for this. So today I'm going to show you how to make this give you inspiration for other ways you can apply this technique and give you ideas for using these blocks in finished quilts. So I'm going to be showing you how to make a negative block with a vertical dividing line in this traditional churn dash block. So basically the one half of the churn dash block is going to be the same and then the other block we're going to alternate the light and dark. So you can follow along with my measurements to make your own nine inch negative churn dash block, but you can do this with any kind of block that you want. If you're really not sure of the calculations, the easiest way is to draw it out on graph paper, literally draw a line down the middle, and then that will make it easy to figure out the size and shape of the pieces that you need in the middle part. So to make the negative churn dash block, you're going to need four three and a half inch half square triangle units. Uh, you can use your favorite method for making these, or if you don't know how to make them, you can click on the link to the tutorial that will show you how to make these. But you need four at three and a half inches square. Then from each fabric, light and dark, you're going to need three three and a half inch by two inch pieces. And also from each fabric, you're going to need four two inch squares. So once we have those, we're going to start laying it out and laying it out can be a little bit tricky uh, when you're trying to get the negative effect. So the one half of the block is just going to be the same as the traditional um, churn dash or monkey wrench block. So we'd have our um, dark corners pointing in and then the dark bar which joins those triangles and then on the top and bottom whereas in traditionally we would have another dark bar going over it's going to be cut in the middle so we're going to have a square and the same with our center pieces cut in the middle and then squares at the bottom. So we can see this looks like half of the traditional churn dash block. So on the other half, it's going to be almost like a mirror image, but we're just alternating light and dark. And there we have it with alternating light and dark. So we can see if we cover that up, we could clearly see, yes, that's a churn dash block. So take a minute and just look at your pieces to make sure that they're laid out. And then we're going to join these to make squares. So there's going to be some little four patches here. And these are two rectangles going together to make a square. And once those have been joined into squares, then we're just going to construct this like a nine patch block because it'll have three across and three down. So once the little squares have been made, then lay it out again. Just carefully take a look at it to see if there's anything that needs to be turned because it's really easy to get things in the wrong orientation. Now we're going to join the pieces into rows just like a nine patch. And here it is, our finished negative churn dash block. So you can use this idea for a negative block to make fun quilt designs like this one 
or this one. And of course, you don't have to divide blocks vertically. You could also divide them on the diagonal. And that would give you some other fun quilt options. For more details about negative blocks, you can click on the link below to see the whole post. And for more quilting patterns, tips, and tricks, be sure to check out my website, evitastudio.com.